Hey guys, it's Emma and this is Blake's nine month update. So he is actually nine and a half months, um, but yeah, I'm finally able to get this video out to you. I wasn't planning on doing this video, but I managed to get the motivation to do it today. And yeah, so little Blakey is just growing up so much and yeah, he's that. Is that you? Yeah. Um, he's just getting such a bright little boy and <laughs> he's crawling around the house at a million miles an hour. Like he's just getting into everything now and um, crawling through little nooks and crannies and playing with everything so I um, have to watch what he's doing all the time and because he's putting everything in his mouth so he's just cut his top two teeth so um, he cut this one up here the top right one um, he cut that about a week ago and just last night he cut his second top tooth so um, so yeah he's got two little munches now two little chompers Two little jumpers. <laughs> Let's see if we can see them. Oh. Yeah. So he wasn't in too much pain with it, but like the the nights that they actually cut through, he's a bit unsettled going to bed. So yeah. I just gave him some Panadol, and that helped a lot. So other than that, he didn't have any other problems with teething, which is like normal for all of my kids. They never had any real trouble. So he's been wearing this amber teething necklace which used to be Hazel's and now Blake has it so that's probably helped him a lot with his teething. Thank goodness he hasn't like bitten down while he's been feeding yet with his teeth so yeah I know when he's about to bite because he kind of stops suckling and then he'll just pause for a second and then he'll like slowly bite his teeth together so I've managed to stop it before he bites down when he does that. Um, so yeah, what else? He's just like in the last few days he has um, pulled himself up on this little toy piano that we have. He was like he pulled himself on, up onto his knees first, and then I was watching him and I was like, oh look at Blakey! And then all of a sudden he just stood up, and then he was like leaning over the piano and standing on his feet and it was like kind of moving forward and he was just um yeah kind of like walking with it but kind of falling onto it at the same time so um yeah so that was cool and then a few times since then he's pulled himself up again so he's definitely getting on the move like you can see he's got good strong like leg balance like he's standing up now with straight legs so um, yeah, he's a very strong boy. And I've given him a haircut, just like the top. I'm not sure if I mentioned before because it was a while ago, but he had like really long black hair at the top from when he was born. And it was just like really long compared to his other hair. So I just trimmed the top of it. And all the other hair that he's got is so much lighter now than like what his hair colour was when he was born. And his eyes are sort of changing as well, like they look a bit more bluey grey now. Um, and they used to be like quite a dark grey colour, so I'm not sure what colour they'll end up as, but yeah, it's weird, they've got a bit of green in them as well. Anyway, I can never work out my children's eye colour because it's just like three different colours in one. <laughs> But, yeah, what else? We've just been packing, I've started packing, I've packed about 10 boxes and like the packing's not hard, it's just the organising of all our stuff because I don't want to like get to New Zealand and find like we've just got all this stuff that I don't know where to put and um, I don't want to like end up packing junk, stuff that we don't need because yeah, like who wants to unpack a box of crap that you don't need um, so yeah like the organizing has been but it hasn't been too bad so 
I've just got to like find the time between looking after Hazel and Blake and doing the school runs and all that, so um, yeah, I don't get too much time during the day to do that. And then we've got other things like passports we need to organise and um, all that stuff, so yeah, that's just a quick moving update, but um, what else about Blakey? He's getting a lot hungrier. Um, he's eating about three solid meals a day now and <laughs> having still about five um, feed, breastfeeds. And um, occasionally I'll like, if he's unsettled in the night, I'll give him a feed. Um, just a quick breastfeed to settle him, but usually he's not feeding during the night. He'll just have a drink of water from a bottle. And um, but yeah, he's definitely needing the extra calories because he's actually lost a bit of weight from last month. So his, I weighed him today and he was like 8.65 kilograms and he was 9 kgs. So um, yeah, I think my, my breast milk has like lost its um, capacity as well. <laughs> like I haven't got as much milk to feed him with so um, it usually happens around this time with all of my kids they usually lose a bit of weight and my milk gets less and yeah so I guess I just have to supplement with solids and stuff so um, he's still napping like once or twice a day like he needs two naps but some days he'll just go with one long nap and um, he usually settles well now for his naps. Like I've got um, the portacot set up in our room because Hazel still has her naps in Blakey's cot. So, um, so I did have him on my bed having naps, but then of course he rolled off the other day. So I was like, that's it. You can't stay on the bed anymore. So. So yeah, I feel a lot better about him being in the porticot in our room and then I can just put him down and leave him and he usually goes to sleep on his own, which is good. So I guess that's it from me. If you've got any questions, please um, feel free to ask and please leave comments because I love your guys' comments and um, I will see you guys next time. Bye.